Let's take a look at finding the mean on the HP 30B calculator. Now first off, we're going to need to enter this data. So we won't go to our data option. And I'll refer to this uh, key right here as blue. So push, pick the blue key, blue button, and then I choose data. Now it takes me in here. Now, uh, I don't, it doesn't appear like I have any numbers in here, but uh, how you clean them out, if you do have any, push your blue, and then you want to push your um, reset right here. comes up and says stat. Well, if you press input, it'll say delete data. And you press the input one more time, it cleans it out. Okay, so let's put 13 in. And then we push our input. And it comes up and it says Y. We don't want Y's because we don't got uh, X's and Y's in this problem. So you just do a down arrow, and then it goes to X2. So then I'll do 19 input down arrow 23 input down arrow 31 input down arrow 45 input down arrow 46 input down arrow 47 input down arrow 51 input down arrow and 53 input. And you can do a down arrow if you want, but we're not going to put in the 10th one. Okay, now you can exit out by pushing this on here. And we want to go into the stats option. So I'll push my blue button, and then I'll push this uh, stats. Comes up, says two vars. You can either do your up or down to change it to different options. There's quartiles, there's sums, there's predictions. Here's descriptive. This is what we want, descriptive data. So I push my input to select it. Comes up for the number of items. You can either do your up, down, up or down arrow to choose various options. If I do my down arrow, it comes up and tells me X bar. This is our mean, 36.44. And it rounds in two decimal places, and that's fine for what we're doing. The um, Remember the mean, even though this is sample mean, uh, the same formula is used for sample mean and population mean. In this video, we took a look at how to find the mean on an HP 30B calculator.